This is the story of a transgender who got a daughter after begging. So the story started with family who was living in Jiang City, where there was no place for daughters. If a daughter was born, they would kill her at the same time or leave her in an orphanage. Naman, the youngest son of this family, had four daughters. The moment they were born, he deposited them in an orphanage of other city. Naman's fifth daughter was born again. He was taking her and his wife from the hospital to the orphanage in another city. When the car stopped at the signal, a transgender asked for money. Instead of giving money, Naman told him to raise his hands. As soon as the hands were raised, Naman put his daughter in his hands and he said, Take it, do what you have to do. And after that, he drove the car fast. Naman's wife kept on crying, but Naman, like before, did not listen to his wife. Transgender's name was Saima. Her mates asked her, Why did the man in car give you this daughter? Saima said, The poor man did not feel sorry for his flower-like daughter, and he gave it to me. Everyone pushed her to leave the girl in the orphanage. As soon as Saima reached outside the orphanage, Saima saw herself in her and thought, What is the fault of this little soul? Saima took the baby girl home with her and told everyone that I am her parents and I'll take care of her. She named the baby girl is Miriam. She also stopped begging for the girl's future and started working from house to house. Saima had to face a lot of difficulties. Everyone used to taunt her that if you can't make your own future, what will you do with the baby? Saima kept bearing everyone's harsh words. When Mariam was five years old, everyone tried hard to make her dance or peck, but Saima was her shield. One day, Saima's guru sold Mariam to another gang. When Saima came back from work, she made a lot of noise. When Mariam was not found, Saima cried a lot. She did not eat anything for 10 days. She was begging the Guru for Mariam. Seeing Saima's dying condition, the Guru called Mariam back. After this incident, Saima moved to another city with Mariam, where she faces a lot more difficulties as no one was willing to rent a house to Saima. Nor was Mariam admitted to school because everyone thought that Saima had kidnapped Mariam. Even after all these things, Saima continued to take good care of Mariam. Saima admitted Mariam to a government school. Time passed like this, and Mariam was about to go to college. Because of the wrong company of Mariam's friends in college, Mariam became negligent of her purpose and studies. Mariam also distanced herself from Saima. Because of Saima, Mariam's friends used to make fun of her. One day, Saima became very sick and she became bedridden. So Mariam started working in the house instead of Saima. One day, while working, Mariam broke a plate. The mistress of the house beat Mariam and did not even give her any money for her work and said that, Saima does so much work for you, useless, incompetent girl. You should leave her somewhere like your father did to you. Mariam went home crying from there. At home, Saima's condition also worsened. Mariam took Saima to the hospital. Doctor asked Mariam to bring some medicine. Due to lack of money, Mariam begged the owner of the medical store to give her medicine free. When he doesn't agree, she started crying and said, She is both my parents. If she dies, I'll become an orphan. The people standing near the medicine store helped Mariam at the time and gave her money. At that time, Mariam realized that 
There are both good and bad people in this world. It is up to us how we are and how we can benefit others with our actions. After this all, Maryam served Saima a lot. Maryam studied hard and got her doctor's degree. Maryam was a very good doctor. She was the youngest but competent doctor in her hospital. One day, there was a case in her hospital. Two sons took their father to the hospital. The patient needed a kidney. Both the kidneys were damaged due to heavy smoking, so a donor was needed for kidney replacement. But none of the sons agreed to become a donor. They said, take as much money as you want. Look for a donor. Maryam said that she searched a lot in the hospitals, but no donor was found. His donor was urgently needed to save the patient's life. For this, Maryam got her test done. Everyone was surprised after the test done, because all Maryam tests matched with the patient. After the operation, Maryam and Naman were in the same room. Where Saima came to see Maryam, she saw Naman and said, Oh, what's the miracle of God is you were the one who put the Maryam in my hands. Naman started crying and said, I'm the unfortunate father who threw away the girl as a burden. And now even after all those years, she saved my life. And for the sons whom I gave everything, does not care whether I die or live. Naman was always in this grief. That the daughters he used to throw away as a burden were the real capital. After recovering, Naman looked for all his daughters but found none. He then apologized to Maryam. But Maryam said, I don't care about you. If you don't give me to Saima, then we wouldn't have these loving parents in the same form if you want to do something for me. So please, Make a place for transgenders in this society. As Naman had a good name in politics, he announced seats specially for transgenders in every school, college, and corporate sector. Mariam earned a good name as a doctor and returned Saima's love by taking care of her. She also gave back to society by helping make a place for transgenders. Just as Saima done for her, though through her success, Maryam honored Saima and helped create a better world for others like them.